esports fans. So the title of the video is probably a little misleading because we're not um, we're not cycling fans just for a day. I'm a cycling fan like all my life since I discovered the sport. So I think some bike riders have cleared out of Andorra for today to avoid the Tour de France, but. I was like, no, I want to watch it from a spectator's point of view. So where we live, the Tour de France basically comes by our front door, but it's on a 24K or a 20K downhill section, which isn't much fun to watch. So we're going to a friend's house who lives on possibly one of the nastiest climbs in the Tour de France this year, the Col de Becheles, which is, it's real bitchy. It's a real bitchy climb. So we're going to go to that and watch there, make some signs, take Juliet to her first bike race. At some point throughout today, Chanel will appear in the video. She's feeling a little worse for wear this morning. A slight hangover. This doesn't need to be included. Well, it will do now you've said that. <laughs> There's a lot of bike riders out on the road already. I uh, drove up from the airport yesterday up the sort of the first climb they do today and there's like the camper vans and everyone's parked up and basically cheering at every single car that comes by it's quite something to see actually just the sort of die-hard fans that come out and camp up and follow the tour around france i mean i guess in covid times if you've got a camper van or motorhome it's a pretty awesome holiday and there's a lot of bike riders out on the road today already as well just wrecking the route ahead of marco and mike and Marco Haller and Mike Woods. Yeah, Mike's in the polka dot jersey, so he'll be easy to spot. the caravan come by where we have signs for our friends this is for Luke Durbridge it's for Seb who works for the ASO because Chanel when Chanel worked on the Tour de France Seb was the man Lucas Posselberger Marco Haller Wout Pals and for Mike Woods. It's a baby. This the goodest baby you've ever seen. She's being good as gold, isn't she? You've got to stop calling her this one. Why? <laughs> because well, people... she is this one. She's <laughs> <laughs> eating her hand. <laughs> Eating well, it's quite entertaining. Seems like a much easier way to do the Tour de France than on a bicycle. Although I felt sorry for the guy riding a quad bike engulfed in a watermelon. Just <laughs> thinking 200k or 160k a day on average. They must relish TT days. This is bottom of the final climb. It's a steep one. Isn't it, Juliet? It's a real nasty one. It goes from there and then goes up. And up, up there. Gonna be epic. <laughs> <laughs> standing on the climb because it really pitches up and I just want to watch I want to watch riders break like I do not break breaks but like physically mentally break as as people just here just at this point here oh, Away in yellow 
jersey group. This one's falling asleep. Maybe she's on this side, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's good fun being a spectator. I get it. I, I get it now. Yeah, but you're a cyclist, so you'll never be one of us, the true spectators. <laughs> anyway, here comes the yellow jersey group. Here we go. to finish this is the Cavendish group with Cavendish in it and if he says hello to us he'll win hero of the week this week but only if he says hello bump as well, so he definitely wins Hero of the Week. Oh. And that's it. And that's it, this one. Slept through the whole thing. This one, Juliet here, slept through the whole thing. We'll nip back to the house and catch the finish on the TV. So, yeah. No, right. Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy that? <laughs> Indifferent. Et voila! who gets himself a Tour de France stage win. From what I've seen so far, um, even in the welter when he joined us on set, you know, such a, a lovely guy when he won that stage. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of lovely guys in our sport, but they're absolutely beasts on it. It's Matthew Vanderpoel. Where? Just here. It's Matthew Vanderpoel. So that's that. I'm a spectator for a day. I really enjoyed it. I thought that was brilliant. It makes... The fact that I've been a part of it twice a little bit more special, because like, when you're on the outside and you see everyone just getting real buzzed and real hyped for it, it's really uh, you can see why it's just such a such a big event, which is really nice. And yeah, it was a good day. I can't for the life of me think why anyone would have wanted to escape town to miss that, but a lot of people have. That's what it is. Julia enjoyed it. Actually, she fell asleep as soon as the bike riders started rolling up, which apparently is something I did when uh, I went to the first car race that my dad was in, just nodded off and slept through the whole thing. So, uh, yeah, I've seen it from both sides, and Chanel has worked. Chanel worked on the 2019 Tour de France for ASO, so Chanel's now seen both sides. So, collectively, we have experienced the Tour de France from every angle. And now, just going to drop Chanel home and then go to a pub and watch the football because it's Sunday, so it's the football. And by the time you see the video, you'll know if it came home or not. <laughs>